to take it down. Maybe three will give you a target to assassinate in the meantime, stealthily. I don't know. But this building also doubles as the brothel, which you would find up here. This is the this will will be the more artsy section of the brothel because you know the courtesans weren't just whores; they were like, well, actually more like artsy whores <laughs> in history. Um, pretty in hi history is very important in Assassin's Creed, so I'd like to keep with it. This is a romantic balcony view over what will be a garden courtyard. I have no patience for gardening. Maybe my brother can help me with that, or one of you guys. Maybe I'll make this into a server. We can all garden together, like, I don't know. This is the brothel section of the brothel, where, you know, and I just forgot a bed here. I'll just deal with that right now. If you bring your own wool blocks and just, uh, well, have all the fun you want. <laughs> And upstairs, we have a courtesan changing room, which has a hat rack and a uh, bunch of mirrors and stuff where I guess I'll put something in there, maybe some armor that doesn't look too disgusting, like a lot of Minecraft armor looks pretty clunky, but uh, yeah. All right, next let's head to the infirmary. I'll take a shortcut through the balcony. This is the infirmary. Have a bunch of uh, hospital beds with uh, extendable curtains. Well, I mean, they're not really extendable, but you know, you can uh, do whatever you want. You can remove them or place them, depending on whether recruits are trying to sleep. And up here, if somebody gets messed up really bad, like in the uh, advanced sword play section of the combat area, you uh, can bring them in here for surgery. It's very well lit, very clean, very secure. People will be happy while they're asleep and getting their innards chopped up. <laughs> All right, that's it for the infirmary, and now we go to the Mercenary Guild. This is a long conference table for discussing battle strategies and whatever, and also on off time it can be used as a sort of, you know, sparring ring, just like in Brotherhood where you would uh, go bet money or whatever. You could participate in the fight. Here we have a bunch of our analysts who will be working tirelessly on uh, connecting and decoding Abstergo messages they receive through, they uh, take in through the airwaves. I was thinking maybe in each one of these mini wings put in a little surveillance area um, for spying on satellites or something, Abstergo satellites. Uh, if you have any ideas on how to make that look cool, please tell me. I'd love to hear it. Upstairs we have the armory. Each one of these boxes will contain lots of weaponry, probably just endless seas of diamond swords and whatnot. Um, I don't feel like filling in that many spaces that many times, but I guess I'll have to eventually because upstairs is the dungeon, and we want to make sure that if there's a prison break and they try to go out downstairs, they will be met with resistance pretty tough resistance. And each dungeon cell is pretty basic, just a bed cell, easily lockable with a lever. When it time comes time for uh, interrogation of Templar prisoners, you could just bring them outside to the interrogation slash uh, execution room. Now, uh, the reason I made this open, an open corridor, is because in cases of execution, I wanted uh, Templars to be kind of, you know, paraded out here in front of all the other assassins. People can, you know, boo them on the way to their final moments. Very dramatic and awesome. Um, in the interrogation room, you'll find an interrogation light. I think it's a really cool lighting effect. You know, looks kind of like that uh, really bright lamp that they use to make people very really nervous have to figure a way to make it flickery though. Maybe you guys can think of something for that. But uh, yeah, that's the interrogation room. Probably have a classic firing line in there for executions. Dunno. <coughs> that's it for the Mercenaries Guild. There's only one more faction left to cover. That's the Thieves. Whoop. 
the uh, Thieves Guild, I decided to make pretty much like the one in Brotherhood. Downstairs you have a nice bar or whatever. Um, get people to talk. Just have a drink with them. Be happy. Has the flippy-uppy tables for the bartenders. Don't know what they're actually called. I'll probably call them flippy-uppy tables my entire life. But um, up here we have a basic rec room. Can be used for pool with the pool sticks. Or, I guess, I don't know, any kind of gambling game you want. I'll maybe put some chairs up here and uh, uninstall those signs when we want to do something other than pool. But, okay, yeah, that's the end of the Thieves Guild. But uh, then there's the main portion. The, the main purpose of this uh, entire chamber is stealth training. And uh, as you can see, you can get uh, pretty impressive, impressively dark when you go up on the rooftops, you're really hiding. Pretty hard to see you. I mean, obviously they'll see your floating name tag and whatever. Maybe there's a way to um, disable that, but uh, other than that, you're pretty safe. Unless, you know, you screw up, because that's why you're training. Up here I have a bunch of uh, chimneys, like you'll see mostly in Venice from AC2, uh, hiding around with the guards. You can Jump up to on top, air assassination if you want. Um, a lot of the other things, though, that I thought was pretty funny, were pretty funny to do, were some of the stealth things, like my hay bale. My uh, rooftop garden is equally clumsy. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty, pretty much just threw it together in a couple minutes. Um, luckily, these signs are pretty intangible, so uh, you can walk through them. Don't know how else you'd get in here. Probably have to role play this as well. Like, you know, sneak for, well, sneaking, grab them out, pull them in, whatever. Here I have a crane. Have to put the ladders on the opposite wall so that you can actually climb it, which heads to my crappy clothesline. Um, and up here, I think you'd uh, maybe put up the redstone torches for the difficulty level signal. And uh, other than that, have some other basic uh, free-running stuff. For notoriety, we'll probably put a lot of blank signs around. Uh, let them detach them to remove them. Have some benches. Station some uh, assassins to roleplay there. This is a more conservative haystack because I didn't want to block off the entrance to the garden. And uh, over there is a herald stand. You know, town crier or whatever. They are called heralds. But, um, and this place is complete with many dark alleys, well, kind of dark alleys because of the windows, but these dark alleys will help you disappear, or have a fist fight where nobody's looking. And so, yeah, that is the, those are all the features of my guild, built entire my, entirely by myself. Uh, I hoped someday to make this a server in the future, maybe some of you guys who like Assassin's Creed can join me, that would be really cool. And uh, as for right now, you could, if you would please like my video, subscribe, because there will be many more Minecraft videos I'll be making, mega builds, redstone inventions, stuff like that, let's plays, and uh, thank you for watching.